He's the infamous serial killer known as BTK for bind, torture, kill. I had never strangled anyone before. So I really don't know how much pressure you had to put on a person or how long it would take. Now a new documentary on A&E tries to make sense of how Dennis Rader came to be a psychopathic killer who went on a 17 year reign of terror in Wichita, Kansas. You know, I lived a normal life. You had, I had a real dark mind. Hello, you have a prepaid call from Dennis L. Rader an inmate at Kansas Department of Corrections. Forensic psychologist Katherine Ramsland talked to Rader by phone. I've been corresponding with Dennis Rader for over 10 years to try to understand what led him to become one of the most notorious serial killers in America. That's the uh, $64,000 question. Why did I do that? Each serial killer has a unique set of factors that turns him or her into monsters. She points to his childhood when he showed signs of sadistic behavior and began to trap and torture kittens. I pull the string, the box to drop over, so I stick the head up through the hole. And I had a noose for it. Early signs of sadistic behavior that forecast his depraved future.